Hi, I'm Judith Love Cohen, and I've worked together with a zoologist to put together a book called You Can Be a Woman Zoologist. The first part of this book tells the story of this zoologist, and she works at the San Diego Zoo, and she's a mammologist, which means she specializes in warm-blooded animals, and her favorites are koala bears. The second part of the book talks about the science, in this case zoology, and what they study and what it takes to learn. The third part talks about what qualities it takes to be a zoologist, what kind of things you can experience, and ask you some questions so you can decide whether this is something you would like to pursue. Now, a zoologist is a biologist, and biologists study living things. So first, our zoologist had to learn how to classify things and name things in Latin. Now, secondly, there's animal kingdom and plant kingdom are the way we divide up things in biology. The zoologists focus on the animal kingdom. It contains a variety of creatures, such as worms, fish, insects, spiders, animals with backbones, such as amphibians and mammals. The second thing a zoologist is going to study is about living things in general. What makes a living thing different from a rock? A living thing needs food to grow, air to breathe, and can create more life, either seeds or babies. Living things are amazing and complicated. But our zoologist was more interested in why do animals behave the way they do. Animal behavior is called ethnology. And this science relies on the observation of the animals. If you're going to work in a zoo where the animals are there all day long, you care about where they eat, where they sleep, how comfortable they are in their surroundings, and these are the kinds of things that our zoologist focuses on. This is a picture of a rainforest. And one of the things that's extremely important is to understand the environment, the habitat that animals live in and how they blend in with their surroundings. In a rainforest, the creatures like the birds tend to be very colorful so that they can blend in with the trees and the flowers. And there are other things that you can learn about the zoologies and uh, what they do by reading our book, You Can Be a Woman Zoologist. Check us out at cascadepass.com.